You know cars have faces. Designers know that. They know that. People don't want a car with three headlights. Because, like, who wants to be associated with a three-eyed monster? No one. It's like two eyes. That's something you could be comfortable with. And so, cars have faces. You know, like the BMWs, the new ones, they really look cat-like. You know? And they have sexy curves. They do. They do. There's been MRI studies of that. So, if you show men photographs of attractive women looking directly at them, there's a little part of their brain called the nucleus accumbens that lights up. Because to have someone look directly at you, especially if they have like a smile, is, is interpreted as an invitation to approach. And women, they have the same damn problem. Because with women, because if you go into drugstores, say, and you look at women's magazines, they're all the same. They've all evolved to the same end point. They all have an attractive woman on them, all of them. And they're looking right out. And so when women see that, they actually see it as something to a, a approach. It's an ideal. And, uh, you know, and people say that those beauty ideals are oppressive to women, and all ideals are oppressive. But the empirical research, some of it done here, suggests that interacting with those images helps the, it performs the psychological function of helping the woman equate herself with the ideal, and in most cases that actually produces a an elevation in mood. And you know, think about it. You're really going to go to the magazine store when you're just looking for something to do, and you're going to buy something that makes you feel depressed and oppressed. It's like, no, you're not going to do that. Magazines that do that to you, they will die, because no one will buy them. And there's a reason they all turned out the same way. It's like, they're just responding to demand. A woman's picture looking right at a man will produce this activation in the primary reward system. Cocaine produces the same response, and so do sports cars especially curvy red sports cars. And so that's why you often see an attractive woman sitting on a curvy red sports car in an ad. Because it's, you know, if there's a, an ad for beer on the side, it's like, hey, everything's perfect. So, and you know, those are all primary re reward representations, and they produce attraction. Because part of positive emotion, the dopamine, dopaminergically mediated element of positive emotion, is an approach emotion. It's not a satiation, satisfaction emotion. It's, oh good, there's something good here, I can move towards it. And that, that is what happiness is. That's directly what happiness is. It's not attaining something, because that just get, puts you in a whole new problem. You've got to figure out what to do next. 